Hello, this is Vicar Dave with your encouraging word of the day. Gossip is all around us. It's always painful, especially when it's disguised as concern. A request to pray for someone because of something they did is not asking for prayer. It's gossiping. If you know some personal information, don't share it with everyone. Take it to God. Churches and organizations have been destroyed because of rumors that were started this way. Paul warns against rumors in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 19. Do not accept an accusation against an elder, except on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How often have we heard some information concerning another and have been ever ready to accuse that person based on those rumors? Hearing gossip may make it feel that these statements are true, but they are often only circumstantial. Even when Paul is cautious in his writing, he has no tolerance for leaders who sin repeatedly. Paul writes, Reprove those who sin in the presence of all, in order that the rest also may experience fear. This fear that Paul is referring to is a good kind, because it keeps people from sinning. It's not just a fear of getting caught, but in understanding that there are ramifications for the abuse of power and the lack of conduct. Paul is focusing on making people feel what God is feeling when they sin. These people shouldn't be consumed with guilt, but they should feel ashamed and realize they need grace. Paul's entire thought process here is based on the assumption that leaders be godly people. He states that leaders who fall short should be held accountable for their actions. Above all, Paul says that leaders should be chosen wisely. Let's pray. Dear Lord, help us all to establish and support a strong leadership in our church and faith communities. Amen. May God's love and mercy lift your hearts and give you peace.